Hey everyone, and let's talk about percentage yield. Well, let's talk about yield. What is a yield? Well, yield is the amount, so this is the amount of the product produced at the end of a reaction. So this is basically the amount of product produced. Well, if we have this equation, so the reaction of hydrogen gas with oxygen gas to produce water. Now, we want to know how much of the water is produced, how many moles of water. So we do our calculation based on a given and we come up with, for example, let's say three moles. This is we call a theoretical yield. This is what we predicted based on the equation here is going to be produced. Well, theoretical yield may not be the same as the actual yield. The actual yield may be more than the theoretical, maybe less, we don't know. And it's usually given in the equation. We find out the actual yield using experiments in the lab, while theoretical yield is calculated through equations and algebra and all that so we have a formula we need to know is the formula on how to calculate the percentage yield and the percentage yield is equal to the actual yield and usually given in the question divided by the theoretical yield times 100 so this is times 100. We said a percentage, we always, if you have a percentage, we multiply by 100, the ratio by 100. So let's explore an example to clarify all this. Well, here is an example I prepared for you guys. So let's solve it together. Well, it says a student decomposes 24.8 grams of calcium carbonate in the lab. So calcium carbonate decomposes as follows to give calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide gas. Now it asks you, what is the percentage yield if the student only produced 13.8 grams of calcium oxide? Now what is given here is the actual yield. So let's see what was given. So the actual yield is equal to 13.1 grams. Now in order to calculate the percentage yield, we need one more factor which is the theoretical so we said that is the actual over theoretical times 100 now we're missing a piece we're missing this part we're missing the theoretical yield so how would we calculate the theoretical yield well here we have our reaction so let's see so we have here calcium carbonate to give calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide gas and we said that 24 grams so 24.8 grams of calcium carbonate and we want to find the number of grams produced of calcium oxide well what we need to do is this first you need to find the mass of one mole of calcium carbonate and we do that by finding the molar mass of this so calcium carbonate is 40 plus 12 plus 3 times 16 and you calculate that get your calculator and calculate with me so 40 plus 12 plus 3 times 16 and that gives us 100 so this is equal to 100 grams now here calcium oxide is 40 plus 16 and that would give us 56 grams now cross multiply so cross multiply what do you get 56 times 24.8 divided by 100 calculate that so 56 times 24.6 divided by 100 and that gives us 13.8 grams so 13.8 grams now this is your theoretical yield well we see here 
we see here the actual yield was 13.1 and here is 13.8 there is a slight difference but there is a difference so let's calculate together the percentage yield so the percentage yield is equal to what the actual which is 13.1 divided by 13.8 which we calculated times 100 and that gives us so let's do the calculation 13.1 divided by 13.8 times 100 and that gives us 94 percent and voila you have your percentage yield so this is a very successful reaction because it yielded almost the actual yield it's 94% of the actual yield, so it's pretty good reaction. So that's that for this video. In this video, we talked about percentage yield, and we said that the yield is the amount of product produced. And there's two types. There is the actual yield that we do in the lab and we get, and there's the theoretical yield that we calculate using chemical reactions and algebra. And we said that the percentage yield is calculated using this formula here, which is actual yield over theoretical yield times 100. So keep on practicing our percentage yield. This is one of the very common exam problems. So good luck and thanks for watching.